50 miles northwest of the Wizard is the 109-foot Seabrook. It's gonna be about an hour to go three miles. I'm barely, barely scooting here. Hopefully I can find some more open water and get to my gear a little quicker. Like Keith, Captain Scott Campbell Jr. chose to stay and fight the ice. This ice came on top of my gear, so thick. I mean, this is just solid, solid ice. Now, the captain is battling time as well. I've got a processor date that I cannot miss. So now the pressure's on me. Not only do I got to get this gear dug out of the ice in a relatively short amount of time, I've got to catch some crab and get this damn thing full. First pot coming up. Counting on these pots being half to three quarter full because I've laid all my gear right here. All my gear. So it's uh, do or die. We'll find out here in about 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Oh boy! Got a little something, yeah. We're doing all right. Pretty happy. Gotta keep it going, keep it going. Uh oh. That is some of the skankiest crab I've seen in years. It's mud uh, in the pot because it was drug over a half a mile. Ice snags up our pots and drags them away, you know, from where we set them. This one just got drug into a great big mud hole. When a drifting ice flow snags a buoy, it drags the pot across the ocean floor, filling it with mud that suffocates the crab. God, I hope this whole string isn't like this. We're in trouble. Deadliest Catch, all new episode, next Tuesday at 9, only on Discovery.